Hi, I'm Sean, uh, design engineer here at Allet Mowers and lead design on the uh, Jubilee design project. Um, a brief was to redesign the product packaging of our latest battery powered cylinder mower, the Allet Sterling, for a one-off special edition build to celebrate the Platinum Jubilee this year. We're a proud British company with a fantastic heritage. We thought this was a perfect project for us and something that is authentic to our brand's core. So the first place to start on a project like this for me is to look at the Union flag. It's one of the most recognisable flags in the world and I thought it was important to stay close to the iconic design but also try to modernise it and present it in a contemporary way. I wanted the machine to be British but quite understated and not brash. Our standard edition has quite a limited colour palette and no modern visuals. The design team are really excited about exploring new layouts and trying to present something that's creative and inspiring as well as something that engages with our customers. We didn't want a clustered design and chose to focus on fragments of the Union flag we chose blue as the dominant colour and decided to keep any red detail to a minimum. Our red painted cylinder is a strong asset in Alex's visual identity and ultimately the Jubilee packaging design grew around this. Hopefully we've come up with something that is quite fun and unique. We're more open than ever before at Alex to trying new things and this project was no exception. This is the first Alex machine to use chrome plated and vinyl wrap parts. The vinyl wrapping was key in achieving the Union Jack visuals and we felt the chrome plated trims were a nice touch to the finish of this high end and premium machine. Several local, local businesses kindly donated their time and services free of charge on this project and we'd like to say a special thank you to Fastlade Precision, ASA Fabrication and Minerva. We'll be auctioning off this special machine with all proceeds going to the Duke of Edinburgh Legacy Fund. You can bid online from the 2nd of June. Good luck.